I literally had a shooting in the alleyway behind my house. Tonight, our story focuses on the youth. It's crazy because, like, I, it, it's gonna surprise me, scared. Like, when I hear a shooting, I'm like, oh, rest in peace. Teens. We say yeah. violence plague everywhere. Everywhere. <laughs> the very reason so many gathered at the Dayton Street Opportunity Center in Aurora tonight to talk gun and youth violence. But they say it's not just happening here. There's been killings everywhere around Denver. These teens are tired, pulling no punches about people pulling out those guns. We're not saying it's normal, but we see so much violence and we hear so much stuff about violence that it does become a part of our everyday life. Jalen, Andre, and Jaden, 16, 16, and 15 years old, around the same ages of those involved in two terrifying shootings near or at Aurora schools last week. Still no word on a cause, but police say it's gang related. It is social media that's causing all of this chaos to happen. These teens providing their own perspective on gun violence in general. This dude you don't even know couldn't have did nothing so serious about where you're from or what color you wear to the point where you want to take his head off or put him in the grave. Like, it's never that serious. Go to school, get your education, and that's, that's, that's what's really serious. Like, now that's something you should take serious or take offense if somebody playing with your education. Yeah, that's serious. But somebody beefing with you over a color, that's not serious.